Hi, and welcome to Marilyn Seagrant's REU application walkthrough. To uh, register and log into our website, you will need to have both access to a phone and your email. Um, it is a two-step authentication process, and you will need um, both to be able to create an account. Once you've created an account, you will be on this screen. Um, this is our welcome screen. If you click on access application, it will bring you to the, our first page of our application. As you can see, all of the components of the application are here on the left. Um, you can go through the menu by clicking the various items out of order, or you can um, go through the entire application by hitting the next buttons. To complete your application, please make sure you fill out all of the boxes, especially the ones marked with a red asterisk. Those are required for your application to be able to be submitted. As you finish and complete each portion of your application, please hit the save button. If you do, if you move out of the screen before hitting the save button, it will not save. The first portion of the application is your applicant information. So this is just your name, your address, currently at your university or at home, depending on where you're currently living. Um, your gender, how do you identify, as well as your college or university. Um, if you, when you start typing it in, a um, fill list will appear of colleges that are already in our system. Please choose one from the pick list. However, if your university is, or college is not in the pick list, please feel free to enter it in and just keep typing. Your major, you can type here. If you have a second major, you can fill it out here. If you have a minor, you can fill it out here. Please enter your class standing as of fall 2021 and the approximate date of that you began college and the approximate date that you will be graduating. We do not expect you to actually remember what day you start and will be ending your college um, tract. Uh, next, after you finish and complete the entire section, please hit this checkbox at the top that says mark as complete. This will allow the little bubble here to turn green rather than red. It's a good helpful way to remember which portions of the application you've actually finished. Noting also that you are able to hit the checkbox before you've actually completed it as you can see here. So it is not any in any way a check. The next page is our additional information page. None of the questions on this page are required. It is just information to help us gather um, information about our applicants, as well as their demographics, as well as how you learned about the program, whether or not our marketing is reaching everyone that we would like to um, reach to advertise about this REU program. Maryland Sea Grant champions diversity, equity, and inclusion, and we want to make sure that everyone who wants to apply can apply. Um, this includes uh, different information about how you learned about our program, if you've previously applied to our program, and if you've participated in other REU programs. Additionally, I did not mention this previously, if you click on the little question mark in the circle, it will give you more information about the question. So it often gives you helpful hints if you are confused about a question. Um, additionally, it's, uh, we are asking about your race or ethnicity, as well as if you are a first generation college student. For instance, if you click on the question mark here, you can see that it, this is defined as a student whose parents have not earned a bachelor's degree or higher, um, as well as a veteran. 